Welcome back, everybody. It's Car and Driver Radio, the world's largest automotive enthusiast magazine on the cover right now. New cars, everything you wanted to know about the 2009 models and starring the new Chevrolet Camaro. I'm Alan Taylor with Josh Hancock from L.A. Times Auto Blog and Dick Messer from the Peterson Automotive Museum, where we're broadcasting. Joining us right now from, I think it's Moore Manufacturing, M-O-H-R, is Jeff Moore, makers of the Super Bumper. You can find out about it at www.superbumper.com. I have one on my truck. You know why? I don't want people bumping into the back of my chrome bumper and putting little divots in it on my pickup truck, as well as this is a very cool thing. And Jeff, uh, let me just bring up Jeff here. Hold on, let me push the right button. Uh, Jeff Moore, is it Moore? Do you say it Moore, M-O-H-R? That's correct, Alan. Good morning. Good morning. And and uh, I got to tell you, my, you know, I got one for my truck, and my wife goes, I want one. And what it does is it goes into the trailer hitch. If you've got a big SUV, a big truck or something, goes into the trailer hitch, and it basically makes your trailer hitch a step, but then it turns it also into kind of a shock absorber for if you get bumped from the rear. And That's maybe I'll, you describe it a little, you know, why did you come up with this? How did you come up with it? Tell us your story. Well, Ellen, we, it's basically been the result of a, a rear-end collision that my wife was in. And, uh, you know, what happened was the uh, vehicle sustained a fair amount of damage at such a low speed. And, uh, you know, I happened to have the uh, ball mount in for pulling a trailer. And it, it managed to keep at least some of the damage away. But I, then I got to thinking, you know, why doesn't somebody make some kind of a product where, you know, it will absorb some of the crash energy and that you could just stick into your receiver hitch, so make it a real simple application. Right. And so that's kind of how it all started, and uh, we have a couple of different versions. One, of course, that will tow a trailer, but then we also have one that does not tow, because a lot of people already have towing equipment. But what we found out in our research was that 99% of the time, the average person isn't towing a trailer. But there's a lot of strength in your receiver hitch, and that strength basically goes unused because, uh, you know, if somebody rear ends you, they got to hit the bumper and the, and the sheet metal before they get to the receiver hitch. So. Well, plus, the, the way this is set up is the receiver hitch is like a step down from the bumper, so it actually, you know, for the, the cars that may go under, like my pickup truck, in a, in a perfect example, now it gets a place to hit right straight on, and it, it carries the, uh, the, the, the uh, collision into the framework of the truck instead of the the bumper and look at these uh, things are not expensive what you know what are the i actually have the one wait. with the trailer hitch on it go ahead wait, wait. and no because i think we need to envision how this thing is i understand it it clicks into the receiver hitch but then is there a piece that's parallel to the bumper so you have this yes. shield of the it's, how, it's like how uh, wide is that go ahead well, Mark. Or, there's two uh, different Jeff. versions actually one there's an 18 inch version with a three inch tube and that's more for uh, your mid-sized vehicles. And then we have a 24-inch version with a 4-inch tube. Okay, and that's so more for your larger pickup trucks and SUVs. Right, that's what I And the reason we didn't, we didn't make them any bigger was because this is mostly made for the rear-end collision and for people who are what we call Braille parkers, a parkway field. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we didn't have to make them very big because in our research we found out that 75% of the rear-end collisions are less than 10 miles an hour. And most of them are direct hits because 94% of them occur on straight roads. Now, tell the people about price, how much they cost, because they're really affordable, and it's an extra bumper assembly. Uh, it's, it's a, you got to check it out at the website, but how much are they? Where do they start? Well, uh, basically, uh, Alan, they're anywhere from one nineteen ninety five to two nineteen ninety five, depending upon the length and if you want one that tows or one that don't tow, right. and if you want chrome or black. Right, right. But, yeah, they are very reasonable, and uh, they do one heck of a job. I mean, they... They do make a big difference in the outcome of a rear-end collision. Well, and i got to say... It's a steel tube. It's Yeah, basically, mine has a trailer hitch in it, so that I've, I've, I've now made my trailer hitch an extended bumper out just a little bit further. It's also a step now, so I've kind of got a one-two step up uh, if I want to dig for something in the back of my bed. A nice product, well-made, made in America. Where Again, can you purchase one? You can check well, it out on the website. Real easy. It's, step, super, it's superbumper.com. I'm up against the clock here. Uh, are they available pretty much all over, Jeff? Uh, no, not really. We actually just launched these in the fall of um, 2007. So okay. really, their we website's the best way to go. To yep. So. Superbumper.com. Check it out. An inexpensive addition to your vehicle that can save in a lot of different ways.